The contraceptive injection, also known as the birth control shot, is a liquid that contains synthetic versions of hormones naturally produced in the female body. Injections work primarily by preventing the growth and release of an egg from the ovaries. They can also thicken cervical mucus to prevent the sperm from reaching the egg for fertilization. There are two main types of injections, progestin-only injections and combined injections. Combined injections contain a combination of estrogen and progesterone. The combined injection will protect you from pregnancy for one month, while the progestin-only option can protect you for either two or three months. The combined injection and the two-month progestin-only injection are injected deep into the muscle in either the upper arm, hip, or buttocks. The three-month progestin-only injection comes in two versions, one that can be injected into the muscles and one that can be injected under the skin, either in the abdomen, back part of the upper arm, or front part of the thigh. When administered regularly and on time, the combined injections are 97% effective, while the progestin-only injections are 96% effective at preventing pregnancy. Once your healthcare provider has determined that this method is suitable for you, you will get the first injection and be given an appointment for the next one. The best time to receive the first shot is between the first and fifth days of your menstrual period since it becomes effective immediately. If you receive the shot at any other time, you must use a backup method for the next seven days. There are other ways of getting immediate effectiveness. When switching from the combined oral contraceptive to an injectable, the progesterone shot should be administered within seven days of the last combined oral pill. When switching from the progestin-only implant, the progesterone shot should be administered on the day the implant is removed. The shot will also be effective immediately after removing an IUD, after a first or second trimester abortion, or six weeks after delivery. Any delay in getting a scheduled injection might require a pregnancy test to rule out pregnancy before the next shot is given. Injections come with several advantages. First, they require limited effort since all you have to remember is to go for regular shots. They reduce menstrual cramps and premenstrual syndrome and make your bleeding lighter. They also reduce the risk of endometrial cancer and the symptoms of endometriosis and protect you from iron deficiency anemia. The progestin-only injectables are suitable for females who cannot use a contraceptive method with estrogen and can be used during breastfeeding, starting six weeks after delivery. They also have few drug interactions, which means they will not be affected by any other medicines that you are taking. Depo-Provera notably reduces the pain of sickle cell crises in females who have sickle cell anemia. The most common side effect experienced with the contraceptive injection is a change in bleeding patterns. You may notice irregular bleeding or spotting between periods. This usually goes away in three to six months or once your body adjusts to the level of hormones introduced by the contraceptive. Other side effects may include changes in weight, headaches, bloating, breast tenderness, changes in your sex drive, and mood changes. The three-month injection offers a higher level of progesterone compared to the contraceptive implant, which contains a similar hormone. These high doses may delay your return to fertility by approximately 10 months longer than any other method. It is therefore a suitable method if you do not plan to conceive within the year after your first injection. In addition, Depo may not be a suitable method for females with risk factors for osteoporosis as it tends to cause a temporary loss of bone density. If you have reached 50 years old and are on Depo, it is important to discuss with your healthcare provider about switching to an alternative method of contraception. The contraceptive injection does not protect you from STIs including HIV, and so it is important to use a condom too to stay safe. Learn more about injectable birth control and other contraceptive methods by visiting findmymethod.org.